Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre called for stronger cooperation among Global South nations and urgent climate action during his address at the 16th Me Days Forum in Morocco. The head of government noted St. Lucia's recent visa waiver agreement with Morocco and praised educational cooperation initiatives. Pierre highlighted the Caribbean's historical ties to Africa and underscored growing partnerships between the regions, especially on climate change. In 2015, St. Lucia is one of the countries leading the charge for the 1.5 to stay alive. Nearly 10 years later, we still grapple with the impacts of climate change, with rising sea levels and increasingly intense weather, weather and weather finance with no serious funding for loss and damage. Many of these world issues require global responses in which countries must act in a coordinated and unified manner, whether it's in health, immigration, security, or climate change, it is clear that we cannot do it alone. The Prime Minister expressed concern over inadequate climate finance from wealthy nations, noting that current commitments fall far short of developing countries' needs. The fact that these islands continue to survive, even with minimum assistance from the former colonial powers, is testimony to their resilience. And the country of Dominica is testimony to that resilience. Mr. Chairman, we all know that advanced economies of the world are the main polluters. Yet, to a large extent, they have failed in their responsibility to provide adequate resources for the world to combat and mitigate the effects of climate change. Faced with this untenable situation, SIDS have been forced to come together through multilateral agreements to request climate justice on the international law for the Commission of Small Island States on Climate Change and International Law, spearheaded by Prime Minister of Antigua, the Honorable Gaston Brown. The UN COP29 meetings have just ended, and the gravity of the situation was again emphasized. One of the most important issues was how much of the 23 wealthy Annex II countries would agree to support the required climate finance goals. It is estimated that developing countries need for mitigation and, ad and adaptation between US $5.1 to $6 trillion required by 2030. Pierre concluded his address by calling for reforms to global governance structures, including changes to the UN Security Council and increased support for developing nations. We live in a world of stark contrast and unnecessary poverty, hardships and conflict. We can overcome the pain and suffering of many if we accept that change is necessary and the world must pursue a new agenda. We in the South can be pioneers of that agenda. In closing, I'd like to end with a quote from the visionary world leader, Nelson Mandela, when he said, and I quote, it always seems impossible until it is done. The Mideas Forum, hosted in Morocco, brings together leaders from around the world to discuss international cooperation and development challenges. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.